stereochemistry of biophenyl compounds under this heading we are going to discuss why certain biophenyl compounds are optically active although there is no chiral carbon or why certain biophenyl compounds are having molecular chirality that we are going to discuss under this video now before we start our discussion we just look at the structure of this biophenyl compound there are four ortho positions this two a b c and d and these two rings are joined by the single bond if there is single bond there is continuous rotation or we can say there is free rotation if there is free rotation this compound this biphenyl cannot form its mirror image which is non superimposable and if there is no non superimposable mirror image that compound cannot show optical isomerism or we can say that compound cannot be having a, a molecular chirality so what is required we must have the compound must have a restricted rotation and to restrict that rotation to restrict that free rotation there must be at least three ortho position block or at least three ortho position having sufficiently large substituent if that substituents are there the rotation or the rotation between carbon carbon single bond is restricted and if rotation is restricted it can form its mirror image which is non superimposable this is a primary condition that there must be at least three substituents sufficiently large sub sufficiently large substituent if this compound is forming a non superimposable mirror image because of restricted rotation between carbon carbon and carbon carbon single bond that stereo isomers this just i have shown here this and this these two are stereo isomers these stereo isomers are formed because of restricted rotation because you can see there are four substituent present at ortho position and we suppose these four substituents are sufficiently large these two rings are now non superimposable mirror image and if they are non superimposable mirror image these two are called enantiomers which are stereo isomers so these stereo isomers are called atrop isomers and the phenomena is called atrop isomerism this is because of restricted rotation of single bond you don't forget that word restricted rotation of single bond again if you look at the structure if that rotation is restricted one ring is lying in this plane and another ring is lying in this plane that means as if two rings having approximately 90 degree angle so that is there and if these conditions are fulfilled then and then only this compound can form non superimposable mirror image and if non superimposable mirror image is there that compound can show optical isomerism again the important thing is here i have shown one example here also four substituents are present at ortho position but you can cut this molecule into two equal half you can see this is a mirror image of this half this is a mirror image of this is a mirror image of this half that means as if that molecule is cut into two equal half by using this vertical plane so we can say this molecule having vertical plane of symmetry so what is another condition there should not be similar groups or atom attached at the ortho position so if similar groups or atoms attached then that molecule is having vertical plane of symmetry so if plane of symmetry is there that molecule is not dissymmetric molecule and if dissymmetry is not there this molecule cannot show optical activity but here you can see although there are just two different groups but they are not similarly attached that means you cannot cut this molecule into two halves so plane of symmetry is gone and if plane of symmetry is not there this molecule is optical activity optical active but this molecule is not optical active because there is a plane of symmetry so you have to in short you have to remember one thing there there must be a restricted rotation and that rotation is restricted if there are three ortho positions are blocked at least three four that is sufficient 
और दैट इज गुड बट एटलीस्ट थ्री ऑर्थो पोजिशन मस्ट बी ब्लॉक और सब्सटीट्यूटेड टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट दैट रोटेशन एंड वंस दैट रोटेशन इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड इट कैन फॉर्म नॉन सुपर इम्पोजिबल मेर इमेजेस अगेन वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट देर शुड नॉट बी इक्वल ग्रुप अटैच लाइक दिस एंड इफ दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रुप इज देयर देन देर इज अ वर्टिकल प्लेन ऑफ सिमेट्री एंड दैट मॉलिक्यूल कैन नॉट शो ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी सो दिस इज दिस इज द प्राइमरी कंडीशन these are the primary conditions required for the optical activity up till now we have seen that the restriction between the two ring free rotation should be restricted there must be a restriction and to have that restriction there must be at least three ortho substituent present on on the on the rings now by considering that discussion i have i have collected some examples here and we will try to solve whether these compounds are out of this how many compounds are optically active but before that you must remember one thing that how biphenyl compounds are produced so biphenyl compounds are produced by using the ullmann reaction so this is important so when this uh, sorry this when this 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 compound is treated with copper or you can use copper powder so these two compounds are actually joined together these two compounds are actually joined together to produce this kind of uh, single bond that is called ullmann synthesis and this compound you can see here there are four ortho positions are blocked and the substituents are sufficiently large so there is restricted rotation and even there is no vertical plane of symmetry present so this compound is optically active so this compound is optically active now let us discuss few more examples now in this case there are three sufficiently large uh, ortho substituents present so that the, uh, so there is restricted rotation if rotation is restricted and if there is no plane of symmetry this compound is also optically active oh it is optically active now here coming to the next example there are just two uh, sub, uh, substituents present which are although coh group is sufficiently large but there is no restricted rotation and if there is no restricted rotation you cannot resolve that compound or this compound cannot form non superimposable mirror image so this is optically inactive so this compound is optically inactive coming to the next example here there are sufficiently four sufficiently large substituents present and if four substituents present and if there is no plane of symmetry this compound is optically active so this compound is optically active coming to the next example very very interesting example and you must remember this example because this is very uh, this is typical example now see there are just two sufficiently large substituents just like this but so 3 the sulfonic acid group this group is sufficiently large very large group so because of this although there are just two substituents the rotation between the two uh, benzene ring is restricted and this compound becomes optically active because this can form non superimposable mirror image you must remember this example again one more example which is again uh, you must consider and you must remember this example there is just one substituent this trimethyl arsenium iodide present at ortho position and three r hydrogen so and this br is there which is at ortho position which is at meta position sorry which is at meta position so because of this very large group the ro uh, rotation is restricted and because of this br that plane of symmetry is destroyed in this ring so this compound is optically active so up till now we thought that there must be three at least three substituents so three ortho substituent but in this two example if this substituent is large enough just like so 3h group or this kind of large uh, substituent then also 
restriction, rotation and the compound can show optical activity. Again, one more example is given here which is also very interesting. I have taken here this uh, biphenic acid or dicarboxylic acid. When this, this compound is optically active, you can see four different groups, four groups, four large enough group, restricted rotation, there is no plane of symmetry. So this compound is optically active, but when this compound is treated with H2SO4, it becomes optically inactive. Why? That kind of uh, question may ask in the examination. So why this compound is optically inactive? Why? Because, because of this, because of this H2SO4, this molecule can lose two molecules of water and form a dilactam. So this is a lactam, amide, cyclic amide, lactam. And dialactam is a planar. This is one thing. Secondly, if you see here, if you consider this point, these and these and these and these, there is a plane of symmetry as well as there is a center of symmetry. And because of these, this compound becomes optically inactive. So the same compound in presence of sulfuric acid becomes optically inactive because this is converted to dialectum and dialectum is having center of symmetry and this molecule is having a plane, coplanar rings. There is no bond angle, there is no inclination, angle of in inclination between the between two rings. So this is all about biphenyls. So you must remember all these required conditions uh, for the optical activity. That's it. Thank you.